uh, Friday. I'm going over to John's. He called me over. Um, anyway, he called me up before and says that he has uh, a little gift for me. So we're going to go over to his place and we're going to do an install. The full install, he's going to have a whole video uh, of the actual install. And I will review it later on and tell you how I like uh, the, you know, the product and uh, everything. So going to hop on my bike, go over to him and spend some time with him. Uh, Start her up. Warm it up a little bit. Just go on my walk, my daily walk. Yeah. New family, new neighbors. Hey there. I'll go through and won't be in your way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll, you stay there. I'll go over here. Oh, you want to go that way? Okay, I'll go around. No problem. Hey, hey there. How are you doing? Hey. Hello. So close. Don't, don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away, guys. Oh, sweet. Oh, young. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. John was just finishing up uh, an install that he did on his bike. I'm not sure what exactly, but uh, the bike is all torn apart pretty much into 432 pieces. Oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, I just actually the first time I'm seeing his new installed bars. And I got to say, uh, in person, in real life, they look, they look really good. Initially, when I saw them on video and when he held them up in the box, I wasn't crazy about that whole silly... That, that, that silly bend. That is, uh, when, he was, uh, when he initially took them out, when he unboxed them, it was that silly bend. And 
it looked kind of kind of ridiculous but now when I see it in life in real life it's it actually it's nice because that bend hugs and blends into the you know the cluster of the of the gauges and it really looks nice in real life I must say yep we're in the heat of the thing of the install John put one on uh, watch the full video on his channel Uh, then we'll put the other one on. A lot of plastic over here. <laughs> Obviously these uh, nowadays products come with very, uh, very little manuals or very little instructions so you have to figure out all the screws and bolts that we have to take out before we can actually start to install all the plastics over there laying down we had to figure it out but now it's nicely secured had to take the highway pegs off hopefully we'll be able to put them on it seems like they'll fit yeah 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 and it's nice it came actually it came with a speaker a real speaker i don't know if the quality but it looks massive, so I might even uh, connect them and have four speakers in the front. We'll see that. We'll check that out later on. So next we have to put the, the speaker pot in and use these small little screws, bolts, uh, the torques to go in here. One, two, and three. Uh, and then we cover finally this part. Here you have it. Here you go. Do you have that, uh, the Torx uh, driver? Oh, I see it's right there. So now the speaker pod and the speaker itself. Okay, give me a second. So we're halfway done. One more to go. See, that's the truth. You don't need to work hard. All you need is a friend that has 40, 45,000 subscribers and gets free stuff that don't fit his bike. And then you get you get parts oh, this fits my bike. and labor, labor for free. This okay? fits my bike. You see? Just let him do all the work. Every once in a while, like say, yeah, good job, John, good job. Psycho fanatics there. Good job, John. Here, yeah. here you go. Okay, hold that. All right, this is tricky. Oh, already. Oops. So we got the second one on. Right there. Now let's clean up over here and take the bike out for a little walk around. So this is what it looks like after. That's it. Very, uh, actually, that was not a complicated install. Pretty easy as well. Uh, it's just getting, you know, getting the sequence right because it's so many pieces of plastic over here. Do you take the speaker pot out or not? Do you take the cover out? So you can actually watch the full video uh, that John just posted a few days ago. And uh, thanks so much, buddy, for this great gift. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be uh, riding, uh, hopping back home, and I'll see you soon. By the way, in the past, people were asking, uh, I heard online, I mean, I've read online, people saying that uh, the lower, the hard lowers hit those uh, wind deflectors. It's not, it's not hitting. It, there's like a half an inch or an inch uh, gap or space uh, when you're full deflected with the fork. So 
not a problem. I just was driving by and I see this truck. I have no clue what it is, but it's dope. It's unbelievable. It's, I don't know what this is. Night XV. What the heck is this? Look how tall it is, okay? This is me. This is me compared to this truck. I don't know what it is. Those are like 43s, 45s, Conquest, Knight XV. What the heck is this truck? Look at it compared to this Nissan Sentra. Strangest car. We're back home. Well, that was a nice little video there. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you give me a little thumbs up and you want to watch more of my videos, stay tuned. Click that like, I mean, click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. That's it for now. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Ba 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 ba